and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Chirinos right there to make the grab. And there's one away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Just got him on that one. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about... You know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part. You can get on the inside part of the plate as well. That's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Next pitch misses. Three and one. Fouls one away, and now three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Two outs. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Banks off the wall. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Cut off, now a throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. One gone runner at first. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. The pitch. And yeah, there's the strike. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA. And it's in and out of his glove, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble, unfortunately, prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. Now, well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And the next pitch is way outside. And that is that. Back here in Baltimore, leading off, Josh Donaldson. But why the kick the pitch? And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit.
Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. No score here in the second. Next one just misses. Ball two. Looking at Torres, have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Here's Aaron Hicks, the switch hitter batting right. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two and two. Hit hard, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. And it gets by him. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Back-to-back -back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now, Kyle Higashioka. This one in the air right field. Santander sizing this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runners tag up from second and third. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. And it's 1-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Out towards left center, Mullins. Long run into the gap. Can't get their base hit. Runner from third comes across, and they take a two-run lead. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here comes Aaron Judge. Hit hard on the ground to short, and that'll do it. Bottom of the second. And the batter now, Austin Hayes. Two two now. Just that off the crazy. inside edge. And now filled up. Smoked on the ground a second. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got... Over to Connor Falefa. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Ball to strike. That one missed. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Man at first, Kelvin Gutierrez. The next to hit for the Orioles. Next pitch is downstairs. Out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the inning.
of the third inning, stepping in the long ball threat, Joey Gallo. And now the lefty in the air, out towards left center. One up, one down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's already singled in this game. The 1-1. That's down and in. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. To first, first two batters retired here in the top of the third. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Quips it to Mountcastle. And the Yanks go quietly. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Robinson Chirinos now up to hit. Here's a 1-1. On the ground, out to short. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit. One down, base is empty. And now the count is even. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. Now the number two hitter, Ryan Mountcastle, reached on an infield single his first time. The wind of the pitch. And that skips in the dirt. The wind and the pitch. Good nope. eye right there. Down to three to one. And here it comes. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Anthony Santander at the plate. He's over one. And now two balls and a strike. Cole had checked the first, and he's back in there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Bringing the cheese on that one. And a pitch. Stays alive. pitch is outside great RBI spot here just got to stay focused on the pitch the runner will be in motion so something in the gap should definitely score got him that's the third out inning over back now at Oriole Park as we go to the top of the fourth now here is Glaber Torres Next offering is fouled back. One and two here. Fouled off. He was late. Soft contact in the air. Hauls it in. And there's one away. Taron Hicks now. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because... He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Next one misses, and it's two and one. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. Swings and misses, and the count is two and two. The pitch. That one misses, and that's ball three. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. 
It's a really nice plate appearance. Man at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Here's a 1 1. Oh, that's it. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. To second for one, and that's all they'll get. And next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Means throws over. Connor Falefa dives back in. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Third out. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Trey Mancini now. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one the other way. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now it's Austin Hayes. One for one with a single so far. And he deals. Out towards right center field. Picks on the move. Out. Number two. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Number Orioles. 29. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Rugnet Odor. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Kicks and deals. Just missed. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Anthony Rizzo. And a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two. This to third. Quips it to Mountcastle. One up, one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Judge rips that one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Cracks his bat and pops him off. Gutierrez makes the catch, and that'll do it. We 
head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. Ball to strike. Ball, that's, that's where down. you want it. It's a good miss. Here comes a pitch. 3-2 now. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Now the Orioles catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Grounded out his first time up. Out to short. Dives and he can't hang on. Slings it across. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. Runner at second here, one gone. And it is two and one. Righty to the plate. Up the middle. Throw on to Rizzo. And they get Mullins for the out. So two down now. And here is Ryan Mountcastle. Two outs with a runner at third. Two outs. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. In the air, left field. Gallo ranging back. He's got it. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a the ball. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Dylan Tate on a pitch out of the pen here. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And a swing and a miss. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. In the air, left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Here comes Glaber Torres. The pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball, and that's a base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. You'll take those boop hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Ripped into left center, base hit. Donaldson coming around third. One run in. Here comes another. Urias with a relay home. He beats it safe. And the lead is up to five. 
Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Line drive. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Here's a 1-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mullins on the move to his left. And he makes the catch. Runner tags for home. Odor with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And it's now a six-run lead. New arm out of the bullpen. Jorge Lopez. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. So the lineup flips over. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. The 2-1. And fouled off. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. It's Aaron Judge now. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on-base and slugging, too. Hayes gets under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Back now at Oriole Park, bottom of the six at the play. Anthony Santander. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. And next is the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. 1-1 one, one now. Just foul of third. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Gallo makes the play. Two down. Two outs. Space is empty. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. We go to the top of the seventh, and stepping in for the Yankees, Joey Gallo. And the righty deals. Line drive. Nice grab. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That's Next offering misses. Three balls and a strike. I got three ones. Three balls, one strike. The wide to kick the pitch. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. That one is gone. Giancarlo Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. And they add to their lead. It's 7-0. Here's Josh Donaldson. Here's a 1-1. That's a strike. The count is 1 and 2. The pitch. Hard hit to third. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. 
Two outs, base is empty. Glaber Torres up to the plate. Glaber. Right-handed reliever. Now this is in the air down the line. And that one hops the wall. Throws to second. And that's a two-out double. Now that the center fielder. Man at second here with two away. Hicks. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Aaron Hicks. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mullins moving under it. Brings it in for the third out. Set for the last half of the seventh. And into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Left-hand hitter waits. I got to count two and two. Bounced up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down. So next to hit for Baltimore, Kelvin Gutierrez. The pitch. Outside, that's a ball. Now fly ball to right center. Hicks is there for it. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. here in Baltimore. We're at the top of the eighth and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. The 1-1. Inside oh, just good. missed. Righty delivers. Right side. Odor picks it up. Gets it to first. First out in the top of the eighth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Next offering down in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. Just off the inside edge. Payoff pitch. And down on strikes. Now two out. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two down, nobody on, and downstairs. Kicks and fires. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So a man aboard, Aaron Judge, stepping in now for the Yankees. And here it comes. Out in front and foul to the left side. And the pitch. That one pushed foul. And a foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Brown ball to the right side. Mountcastle steps on the bag. That ends the frame. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Robinson Chirinos. The one-two. That one is hammered. Right field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. 
Here's a 1-1. One, one. And the 1-2 misses to even the count. Got him looking. That's out number two. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for two. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. In the air, out towards right center. Judge cutting across. He's got it. And that is out number three. set to start the ninth in this one. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. 2-2 Two -two now. Stays alive. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. One down. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Next pitch misses. Ball three. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Smash to the left side. Oh, great stop. Urias to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Clay Holmes. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And welcome back. Last chance for the home team. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Put a really nice, balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And now Austin Hayes. Runner leads away at second. 
And a swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's the second baseman, Rubnet Odor. Two one now. That's ripped. Base hit. One run is in. Hayes coming around third. Torres with a relay home. And he's in there as two runs score in the play. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. The left-hander on now, Lucas Litke. And a healthy-sized lead for him to go to work with. Kelvin Gutierrez, the next to hit for the Orioles. Man on second, two down. Out to short. On to first, ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Final line score this day.